I have the Castle Hall Reserve Especial by Gurkha. The hints are very light hay. Very light hay. And, uh, very light hay. Kind of like a little bit of musty. It's like a Wicked Indie. It's kind of like a Wicked Indie. Alright, gentlemen. This one is the Wicked Indie. Green light is like apple jacks and hay with a little bit of sweet tobacco. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got a ball. Yeah. Very fresh taste. Hey, I need a ball. Put the bees on the pack. It's very Put good, face very face fried. Some bumps going through it, not too, too much. It's going to be quick because it's kind of busy in here. I'm not going to you know, fuck around too much. Yeah. Yeah. Quite pretty good. Mike's up a little bit high. Huh. All right. Excellent smoke album. Very sweet. Um, tiny bit of bitterness, but it's sweet for the most part. It's nice sweet hay notes. But, um, excellent smoke output. Um, Retro hill like graham cracker, little celery, crackers, um, tiny bit of mustard seed, just a tiny bit of that. Retro hill, a little mustard seed, pretty much went all the way around. to cut it with like a, a flat cut it, like you press it down and the lever kind of fucks it up sometimes. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. But that's what it kind of that's what the cut kind of looks like. It's able to do but yeah. Burn it even. Burn it nice and even for the most part. Good cigar. It has the potential to be. It's a good start. It's about a medium, maybe a mild to medium strength cigar. This is the place I'm at right here. It's called Maduro Room in Lexington. Um, it's a Diamond Crown Lounge, too, looks like. That's the cases right there. Arcade machine. Mustard 
Busted nuttiness, hay, sweetness, bitterness. Probably a combination of those. It might be getting spicy, I don't know. I hope it doesn't get too bitter. But I will update in a little bit and see where we're at. Probably close to a half hour red, and the ash is very long on this. It is like more than a third in, I think. The ash is just very. It might drop as I speak too soon, but it looks like it is performing. With an even burn line. Tastes like it is. Pretty much the same flavor profile, smooth down some. Yeah, I compared it before. The mustard seed has dissipated a little bit. It's considerably lower than the old one. So that whole bag section is pretty much going to be It's more like a creaminess and nuttiness now. And the smoke, a little bit of spice, not much. This is a Dominican cigar. This smoke reminds me of a, like this one I had a while back, called um, Tobacco Ramones. Kind of reminds me of that. Maybe Wicked Indie and Tobacco Ramones. Something like that, maybe. It's like on that level. Bar Lake's a lot bigger than that pond was inside me, but the pond inside me was 17 acres. So that's still pretty good size. Yeah. It was called Saxagotha Mill Pond. This is a, this is a good float. So there, I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, almost an hour, probably around the 50 plus minute mark right now. Uh, closer to an hour. Very mediocre cigar. The bitter flavors came back. And I taste the tar, totally. I taste, I don't know, a little oiliness on the foot. It was. When I buy the cigar again, $5.25. Looks like a good price, but I've had, I'll taste some curly head is better. This is mediocre. Poor to mediocre in the flavor department. Smelled sweet and nice when I first cut it. Smelled it and felt, thought it would be great. But maybe a little under great, but still passable. This tastes like some of those Habano cigars that I smoked that I didn't like, and this is in Connecticut. This is very, they have a Habano also, this Castle Hall. Um, I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to pass on that for a good while. They had two of them. They have the Habano, they have the Connecticut. I'm not going to buy that one, though, next time. I'll just get something else. I'll get the Trill by Villager. Something like that. Like a normal fresco. I don't know why I didn't get that. This castle hall, it's, it's like a fucking waste of time to say. The old, the old rapper, the old band to this was like goldish orange. It was, it was the one where if you ordered it online, you had to get it in a bundle. They didn't have singles. Yeah, I got a single because this shop sells it, but I don't like them. I just don't. I'm glad I didn't get them before, I guess now. They're really not that great. They look better than they are, actually. The band looks better and classy. The cigar doesn't taste great. It's alright, not great at all. How the Mr. B Natural is even better than this one. I'll tell you that right now, the Mr. B Connecticut Natural is better than this. This, I don't like the taste, really. I taste 
a heavy, musty, bitterness, the mustard seed, bitterness, nuts, earth. It's leaving a bad taste in my mouth right now. It's not that good. Not a fan, really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get this again. I wouldn't get it again. Just kind of. I'll finish it, but be grudging. I'll talk to you later. This is the end. There's nothing else to say. Kind of a shitty stick. Alright, talk to you later. Burns even. That's about it. Burned even throughout. Having it touched up. It's a good thing, but the flavor linger in my mouth. Not good. Talk to you later.